Fuck books. Oh, no, books are no, for no, pussies. No, 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 no. Go hit the gym. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, we got a haul and um yeah, <laughs> we got a haul. So first of all, um I wanted to get this out of the way, a couple of things out of the way. So usually my hauls are kind of uh extensive as far as time periods go. So hey, if you can't catch it all in one sitting, don't worry about it. Come back, check your library, check your history, and you should be able to find the video. And you can go ahead and just start it wherever you left off. Um, just a small shout out to the NY Warriors. Just wanted to thank them for inviting me to um, their last auction. It was really awesome. We had some great guys. We had um, Archangel and um, we had TiVo. And yeah, just some great people that was there selling some books. Check them out every Tuesdays on um, Home of the New York Warriors Biggest Channel. All right, so let's basically just get into the haul. Um, man, this is... <laughs> All right, so if you caught my last haul, I, I guess basically what I was saying is that I kind of wanted to go ahead and just revisit uh, Keys. And that's what I kind of wanted to start doing is just keep on staying on that track of just really collecting Keys this year, not worrying about... Um, any weekly poos, not worrying about anything new. Now I'm gonna miss out some great stuff, of course. Um, I did take care of my Detective Comics 1000 variants that I want, but I know I'm gonna miss out a lot of Immortal Hulk, and I'm sure I'm gonna miss out a lot of stuff this year, but it's okay because I wanna stay focused and I wanna collect mostly just keys. So this haul should be kind of fun to be quite honest all right so let's just get into it um i bought one of those spider-man that spider-man boot boxes uh this is my second one i have not been happy with any of them um not that i need to win the grand prize so much but just the books i've been getting i just really haven't been happy with it this is one of the winnings that i got from that spider-man boot i think i got this one and i got this uh frillo um batman it's kind of hard to see i try to show it at this angle there um i basically got i guess my money back but um yeah not really too into these mystery boxes i figured i'd do it just to support the people in the community and support some new companies and um you know some youtubers have been giving them shout outs so i figured I'd check them out but yeah I haven't really been happy um so the rest of the haul basically contains I think three LCS here in Hawaii, uh, a couple of Ebays and some Instagram stuff. So anyway, just going back to what I was saying earlier, I wanted to start collecting keys, but one of the main things I wanted to do is focus on some key books that really hasn't either got popular yet or it was popular one time and now they're kind of died out. Um, not gonna really too much focus on any type of grade it's just, hey, if I can get a good book, it's a key book. If I can get it at a good price, I'm not going to complain. So um, as I was, I think this one was eBay. I was kind of looking through eBay and I found this one. It's in a good condition. Uh, Fantastic Four 46. Uh, first full black bolt. Uh, when the whole Inhumans thing was going on on TV and all of that stuff, um, this book and uh, First Inhumans was really popular. I have to thank a uh, rated RAR. He is reminding me like, hey, now would be a good time to change those in inhuman books because the TV show didn't work out so well. So all the books kind of came back down to earth. So I picked this one up. Um, I picked this one up. So this one is actually kind of interesting. Um, so this is Young Avengers number one. This is the Wizard World uh, Los Angeles variant. So I guess out of all the young avengers number one i guess this would be one of the hotter ones to pick up i'm still trying to figure out if it's this or the first print um now you know you probably think i picked this up for kate bishop and a little bit of it has to do with kate bishop 
But really the reason I picked this up is I went into the Disney store and I saw, I think his name was the Patriot. Is it the Patriot or the Iron Patriot? Sorry, let me, yeah. So it's, uh, it's a character called the Patriot. And I noticed that the Disney store was trying to sell the Patriot and they were also trying to sell uh, Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan and some other stuff. So I wanted to just kind of revisit what was the first appearance of uh, Patriot. It just so happened to be Young Avengers number one. There's also first appearance of the Hulkling, uh, first Kate Bishop. So there's a lot of great first appearances on this. And, um, you know, if you want to go the spec route, I guess you could go. I mean, it's not like young. It's not like the Avengers couldn't mention something like that. They need to find a bunch of young Avengers to carry on the legacy. You know, I mean, it's it's a, it's a far shot. But anyway, I figure I'd go ahead and pick this up. So, yeah, I got that. On Instagram, I was able to find some really great stuff. I was able to find the Shadow Number One for a really good price. I actually wanted to pick this up for a while. I know some of the shops down here were asking like 50, 60 bucks, and I didn't want to pay that price. Um, I guess I could have gone on eBay, but you know, sometimes it's nicer to just support the community, whether it's Instagram or uh, YouTube. So I found this Shadow Number One. Um, I think this is, well, yeah, obviously the first DC issue. So this is not Shadow first appearance, but this is first DC issue. So very happy to have this one. It's in a really beautiful, beautiful shape. Great, great colors. Love this book. Right around that bronze time. So love, love, love how this is done. Awesome. Um, I also found this on Instagram for a really great price. Had to pick this up. It's the uh, first color appearance of Hellboy. So not the uh, first appearance, but the first colored appearance of Hellboy. So uh, Hellboy's movie's coming out, what, April 11th or something like that. And um, maybe it wasn't the best time to pick it up with all the movie news and stuff. But you know what? I had this. I sold it one time and um, there was a great price on it on Instagram. So this, again, this kind of speaks to what I wanted to start recollecting again which is just focusing on keys and um, just using that money that I would have used for weekly hauls and weekly pools and just putting it towards these books here. So yeah, first appearance of Hellboy, glad to have this back in my collection and um, can't thank Instagram enough. Speaking of Instagram, um, I also found this other, I think uh, King of the Golden State gave a uh, Oh, man, I forgot these guys' names, but they gave him a shout out. Basically, it's one of the Instagrammers and um, gave him a shout out. Went ahead, um, started to check what they had, and they didn't have this on their Instagram page, but they did have a website. Um, you know what? I'll leave the website link below in the description so you can go and check it out. Fabulous books. I thought the prices were really nice too. Great shipping, great packing, but they had this for, I think. 70 bucks or something like that so really happy to pick this up iron man and um submariner number one this actually predates iron man one and submariner one as far as like first bronze of each appearance and stuff like that so glad to have this book i've never had this wanted to have it i did have submariner one i've had an iron man one and um actually no i do have a submariner one i had an iron man one but I never had this one. Always wanted to pick this up. This predates actually that, so super, super stoked. And um, on eBay, I found this for 70 bucks, and I was, and that's shipped. Uh, nine, six, first appearance of Cletus Cassidy. So I don't know what happened. Uh, Venom came out at the end of the Venom movie. They uh, obviously showed uh, Woody Harrelson, and uh, you know, he made, um, he made a real obvious saying, saying that carnage is coming, you know, and um, I don't know. The, the book really hasn't picked up. Carnage has picked up a little bit as far as first appearance of carnage. But to me, I've always been like picking up the first appearance of a character versus the first appearance of a character as a superhero was should always be kind of worth more. Um, could be the cover. Maybe it's not as nice as the first appearance of Carnage. Um, 
or maybe just people just rather have carnage than actually liking Cletus Cassidy. But anyway, so yeah, Spider-Man uh, 344, first appearance of Cletus Cassidy, who later on becomes Carnage. So 70 bucks shipped, um, could not be any happier. Super, super stoked. So I'm gonna leave this up here and uh, we're gonna talk about a couple, actually, you know what? I'm gonna show you one book and then I'll get into the story. So I had a day off. I had a day off maybe three, four days ago, and I decided to kind of just cruise the island. So I'm just cruising the islands, and I decided to stop at comic shops that I haven't stopped at in a while. Um, and there's one comic shop, like I think it's like 20, 25 miles away from me. So that's like basically one of the farthest comic shops to me. And I haven't been there in a while, so I figured I'd go ahead and check it out. Now that comic shop is more of a gamers slash comic shop, not so much a 50-50 or a comic shop that has games. It's definitely leans more towards the gamer side. Um, but they had some comics. I asked the guy, hey, do you have any, you know, more wall books? Because what they had on their wall was horrible. They had like six or seven books up on their wall. And I think one of them was like upside down. So it was just, <laughs> they, you could tell that they were definitely leaning more towards the game side, but they had comics. So uh, he showed me his whole back issue bins. I found some cool stuff, highly, highly overpriced, but I found this Omega Man, first appearance of Lobo. So definitely, definitely, definitely had to go pick this up. Very happy, even though I only went like 25 miles, uh, finding this book in a really nice condition at a really good price wasn't wasn't gonna let that go so on that same day i actually went to uh, another friend's comic shop and i was actually looking for a certain book and i want to show it to you after the stack so while i was waiting for him because i wanted to buy a, um, a certain book from him i decided to go in his back issue bins right so i go in his back issue bins and i'm just kind of just looking for whatever's right so i find uh shadow number one first full appearance of shadow man uh, sorry, Shadow Man number one, first full appearance of Shadow Man. Uh, the reason I bought this is because I'm trying to pick up as many uh, first appearance of Valiants as possible with the whole Bloodshot thing. Um, you could only assume that Valiant wants to kind of take the whole Marvel route where introducing characters and maybe possibly putting them all together. Um, somehow cross stories or whatever it is. And so... I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do with it. All I know is I, I was thinking, and you know, it's probably a good idea to pick up all these first appearance of value. So I found this one, Shadow Man number one. Um, I found this book. It's not in the best condition, but I think it was like five bucks. And I just thought it was a really cool cover. Um, I wouldn't have to say iconic. I wouldn't say iconic, but I just thought it was a really cool cover. So I figured I'd go ahead, pick this up, Captain America. It is a Kirby cover, which, you know, it's awesome definitely enjoy that but you can tell there's water stains and stuff and again just kind of cruising through his back issue bins just checking some stuff out right and then i find he has like a three pack so he has his three pack for five dollars and i went ahead and i picked that three pack up it was already set together so it's this he had the first appearance of onslaught uh, second appearance of onslaught and then i don't know he had basically four five and six together i guess kind of like the onslaught story for x-men and just wanted to pick this up. Um, no spec play at all. I mean, I guess it could happen. Omega, uh, no, not Onslaught. Did I just say Onslaught? Omega Red. Um, so yeah, and, you know, no spec play on Omega Red. I mean, it'd be cool if it was to happen. I think Omega Red as a character is, you know, just cool in general. But I figured for five bucks to pick these three up, that was more what I, the reason I picked it up. So first appearance, even if it's a villain, I figure, you know, what the hell, why not? Five bucks and um some other stuff that i found uh thor 209 found the first appearance of uh, ultimus really great condition if you can see you see how the colors pop really nicely down the whites are a little bit on the creamier side but the spine on this is gorgeous you know really nothing wrong at all beautiful book um yeah so i picked this up first appearance of ultimus i found this i think he had it for like maybe 10 bucks five bucks ten bucks uh Thor 205, first appearance of this uh, Camothorn. <laughs> I don't know who it is. I just wanted to, I don't really like to pick up books that I don't know, so I don't really know too much about Thor. So if I'm gonna pick up books like this, or Fantastic Four, or like say Green Lantern stuff, stuff that I'm really not too familiar with, 
all I do is I just try to figure out what books have first appearances in it. Whether they're big or small, I like to pick up first appearances on this one. So yeah, first appearance of this Camel Tharn dude, whatever, Thor 235. So yeah, super stoked to having that. Again, just kind of cruising, waiting for my friend, right? Waiting for him to come into the comic shop so I can buy that one book. Uh, he hasn't showed up yet, so I just go through his uh, back issue bins and find this, Batman 619, just the variant. Uh, first appearance of Hush. Um, I don't know. I heard there's going to be another Batman movie. I don't know what they're going to do. I heard they want to go more towards the detective comics, the detective side of Batman. Um, I love the Hush storyline, so maybe if they do this one... Uh, maybe this book might pick up so yeah first appearance of hush there is another second print variant which goes for a little bit of money too it's like uh the whole i don't know like all the villains with harley quinn kind of in the middle but yeah so batman 619 first appearance of hush i keep finding more of these so i guess i really shouldn't complain um aquaman number two first appearance of the trench king um, again, I guess they're gonna go ahead and make a movie on this and um, doesn't seem like they're really backing away from it So if I can keep finding these for two three bucks, like I've been finding them just pe keep picking them up So Aquaman number two found this really sweet um, First appearance of Barbados, I guess Batman 452 um, Yeah, that's pretty much what it uh, First appearance of uh, Kijiri Found this one as well in his back issues, Batman 431. I don't know too much about Kajiri, but I figure Batman, first appearance, can't go wrong. Go ahead, pick it up. Um, what else did I find? I actually found quite a bit in his back issue. Annihilation Conquest. Um, Wraith, number two. I guess is the first appearance origin story of the Exelons, which is like this uh, parasite. This parasite that uh, I guess Wraith is kind of made of, or he has, he's totally infected with. It's like this, uh, it's like this parasite. This, <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's parasite made of like darkness and stuff. So I don't know, that's next level nerd stuff. But um, I think this is Alexei Braclo, uh, the artist. And um, yeah, he's like really not talked about too much, but uh, he's a fabulous artist. So yeah, Alexei Braclo, I don't know where he's from. I'm sure he's from Europe, but yeah, I found this back issue bin. He had it for like uh, three bucks. He had number two, three, and four for this series. Of course, one was gone, which yeah, whatever. But um, this book actually goes for money. So figure why not go ahead, pick it up. Um, this one I thought was pretty cool. Uh, Tarzan. Uh, number one this is his first DC and his origin story is in this so I figure why not go ahead pick it up I thought the cover was cool kind of like that old school Joe Kubert kind of just this whole vibe and um, I don't know sometimes you know Conan does well I don't know DC will bring up their Tarzan maybe <laughs> I don't, I'm not saying it's gonna happen but sometimes you see shit like that happens all the time so anyway, so finally, after all of that back issue diving, I finally meet up with um, my friend. He comes to the shop, and then I'm trying to buy this book right here. Air Pirates Fight Funnies. Um, this book is jacked up, bro. So this book, basically, um, these guys are got sued from disney <laughs> so i mean obviously it says mickey mouse over here if you see this plane it actually says dope so he's like trans you know he's transporting drugs um, there's a lot of sex and a lot of like just crazy fucked up shit in this book so yeah basically disney sued these guys they said you can't resell it you can't reprint it you can't do nothing with this book um he actually showed me this book at amazing con and he actually told me about this and um, I kind of just put it on the side. And then I saw my buddy Alex, the common quarter, put out a haul. And then he showed this book and he really got me thinking. I'm like, man, maybe I should pick up this book. Didn't really pay attention to it. Went on eBay, checked it out. People are asking, I don't know what they're getting, but they're basically asking like $100, $200 for this book. And um, I, I guess it's super hard to find. I'm not too sure as far as the if it's easy to find or not 
I put this up on Instagram just to show people and uh, there's a lot of people that actually showed interest in this so this is the first time I kind of found about it like I said I just found about it at the con and um, yeah Alex the comic order kind of just helped me push me over the edge so anyway so I meet up with my buddy I buy this book but while I'm buying this book he goes dude you gotta check this out and I'm just like okay so I'm super stoked I'm like what you got so apparently he runs across a collection uh, unfortunately the collection is from a gentleman who passed away so the wife had all the books the wife knows my friend she gives it to him and she goes can you help me sell all these books so now he gives me first dibs on all the books and I tell you man I just couldn't be happier and he gave me a fair price um, some of the books were priced a little higher and some of the books were priced wait sorry some of the books were priced a little higher than I wanted to pay but most of the books were priced like at an incredible incredible price and I just could not complain and plus it was just a way to help this lady out you know by giving her some money to help with the funeral and future costs and all of that stuff so yeah so anyway so he goes check it out he goes go inside look what you want pick the books out and as um, soon as you find the books you want give them to me i'll price it out he gave me an exceptional price could not complain i'll show you the books i got right now um yeah super 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 stoked not in any real order so this one uh basically like a good very good condition of silver surfer number three first appearance of mephisto the biggest problem with this is there is a piece of tape there. I didn't care. He gave me this for 20 bucks. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, you know, in this condition, I know it's got problems. It's got tape. I don't care. First appearance, Mephisto. There's so much hype right now around Silver Surfer. If, if there ever is a movie, I mean, how do you not use Mephisto for Silver Surfer? I mean, it, it, it's like almost automatic. So, had to, had to, had to. Um, the rest of the books, he just gave me such exceptional deals. Uh, I think the only one I paid for a little bit more than I should have, and I'll, I'll show that to you. But he had this, Eternals number one, first appearance of Eternals. Super stoked, beautiful condition, a um, little bit better than a very fine, maybe very fine near mint, great price. He had this in there, boom, Conan the Barbarian number one. Um, what is this first comic appearance of Conan and the Barbarian? I mean, <laughs> I'm so glad. So another copy, super, super, super stoked on this one. Um, what is this BWS cover? Just like beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, Jesus. Um, he also had in there, I mean, this guy who passed away, he had a collection and like he had some awesome books i actually had to put back a uh, avengers 55 first appearance of thanos i had to put that back because i had so much money that i wanted to spend and um you know he he gave me like i said gave me an exceptional price i'm not going to talk too much about the price but he gave me an exceptional price and um but the thanos 55 he wanted i think 300 which i thought was actually okay especially because the condition was awesome but i just had to put that one back but um the rest of these weren't even close to that prices at all. So Conan the Barbarian 23, first appearance of Red Sonia in a cameo. This guy had that in the collection. I picked it up and then he also had number 24. First full appearance of uh, Red Sonia and first cover appearance and super, yeah, just, I'm just gonna keep saying it. Stoked, 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 stoked. Got to get myself another copy. This one is not as good as my other one. This is a very good, first appearance of dark side i mean this guy just had an incredible collection um i also had this detective comics now this one is actually a better this next book is actually in a better condition than my other one um this detective comics 400 first appearance of man that i guess i mean it was incredible just really really stoked i mean just keep on picking up these books like i said this year it's all about keys it's all about first appearances I'd like to stick with the older stuff, hopefully from copper and all the way down to silver. It's kind of where I want to stay. I want to stay away from modern keys, um, unless it's like a BA-12 or a New Mutants 98. Other than that, I really kind of want to stay away from uh, any modern stuff. But, um, you know, if they're there and they're cheap and they're good prices, I'll pick them up. 
he had this. This is the only book I felt I spent a little bit more than I should have. But I do like the growth on this book. So Teen Titans 2, First Appearance of Deathstroke. I do like how this book slowly, slowly, slowly cry, uh, climbs and climbs. I also like the fact that if you watch Teen Titans Go, or if you watch any of this new Teen, Teen Titans stuff, that like my kid watches, my kid's nine years old, all of the stuff that he watches, a lot of it has Deathstroke in it. So there's still, even though he's a popular character now, I still feel there's a lot, a lot of growth for Deathstroke. So yeah, Teen Titans is number two, first appearance Deathstroke. Just, man, this guy just had an incredible collection and I have to thank my friend for giving me first tips on this collection. Uh, She-Hulk number one was also in there. Um, I guess Stan Lee's last Marvel creation, official Marvel creation. I think he did one other DC creation after this. But this thing is beautiful. Like this is pretty damn, I think a press and a small light, light cleaning and a press. And we basically got a near mint book. So, and I don't know how many copies of this I have. This might be my third copy, She-Hulk number one. Just, I'll keep buying this book. It doesn't matter, movie, no movie, I don't care. I'll just keep buying it. I love this cover. Um, what else did he have? Oh, Miss Marvel, number 18. First appearance of Mystique. I think this is Mystique's cameo appearances, but everybody still uses this as a first appearance. So yeah, this in this collection, he had a couple other Miss Marvel books, nothing crazy. But this one was definitely one of them. He had a beautiful Miss Marvel number one. Um, just kind of put that on the side. There was too much heat right now on Miss Marvel books. So I didn't want to pick it up now. Maybe later on down the road with the whole movie coming out. But Mystique, I wouldn't mind. I, I didn't mind buying. Especially, um, I think they're going to show Mystique in this next X, X Men movie again. So, yeah, glad to have this one. Love it. And then he had this one too. Master of Kung Fu, uh, first appearance of Shang-Chi. Um, yeah, so <laughs> again, I just picked up one, got another one. I mean, like, and then I guess the, they're going to try to do something with a movie on this. So, I mean, that's the spec right now. That's the rumor. Well, it's not a spec. Sorry. It's a rumor that's been going on. Um, but I like this long term hold. I, I, it's, it's always one of those books that you don't really need anything to, to have um people wanting this book so picked it up you know the, the whole supply and demand there's always demand for this book whether, whether there's anything on it so always always love this book so yeah i was super stoked cannot thank my friend enough for giving me first dibs on that and just giving me an excellent price now that's pretty good i would say uh i would say that's pretty good but before I went to this guy's shop, I actually stopped off at another shop. And um, so at the other shop that I went to in here in Hawaii, um, the I was kind of just cruising around, just trying to see what he had, just trying to see what he had for sale and whatever. And um, he had a couple of things I wanted. One was a slab. And he had these mystery bags that I just absolutely love buying from him. He has probably the best, um, uh, what do you call it? I guess prizes for the mystery for the mystery bags. So basically you open up the mystery bag, then you're gonna get three comics, guaranteed. But if you're lucky within the comic, there's gonna be a piece of paper. When you open up that piece of paper, there's gonna have a picture and a number and that's what you win. So I went in, you know, I picked up, I think, five of those mystery bags. And I also bought this from him as well. Uh, bought this Fantastic Four 65. This is the only money I actually gave him because for the slabs and the mystery bags, the, so for the slab that I got, that's here, and the mystery bags, I kind of did a little trade in him. So we just conned it even. He was happy, right? So I traded some books for him. Um, I think I bought, oh, sorry. Uh, Fantastic Four 65, first appearance of Ronan the Accuser. So that's why I picked this up. I just, I never had the first appearance of Ronan. Wanted to pick it up, so I finally got it. Um, you know, I think pretty much this character's kind of done as far as um, his popularity. But you know what? Since the movie and stuff, I've always kind of had a small interest in it. So 
boom, picked this up. Okay, anyway, going back to what I was saying. So, I traded him some books, and then uh, the reason is I wanted to pick this up from him. He had an 8.5, which I was okay with. Um, I got a couple of copies of these, happy to have this. I, I'm i big on a Nova movie, or Nova appearing. Like, I'm big on that. that that's like, <laughs> I don't speculate on my own. I listen to speculations, I see what's out there, I listen to them, and then um, I kind of will just do my own study, see how I feel. So very rarely do I do my own speculation, but ever since I've seen the Avengers movie, I'm like, yo, Nova has to show up somewhere. And then Kevin Feige from Disney was all like, yo, the focus for the next bunch of Marvel movies is going to be space, it's going to be, so I'm all like, yo, pick up the internals had to do that and i'm like i'm banking on nova even if it doesn't happen that's fine awesome cover love this bronze age stuff first appearances like i said 2019 is really going back picking up keys so you saw what i picked up that's exactly what i want to stay focused on now some of that back issue stuff i picked up wasn't really but he picked those are like two three bucks but really this is you know again where my focus is Anyway, so I open up the mystery bags, right? Open them up, and then I get a piece of paper. <laughs> All right, we're here at Chase Comics. I just want something from the grab bags. I'm gonna check it out. Ready? We're gonna flip it. Oh, it's uh. Okay. Yeah, ready? One, two, three. Oh! oh! <laughs> nice. X Men number four. First, uh, first Quicksilver, first Scarlet Witch, and I think this is the second. Yeah, second appearance of Magneto. So yeah, X Men number four, and um, didn't really cost me anything. Like I said, I traded him some books, and I didn't even trade him a lot. Like we just did a pretty even trade, because the mystery bags cost ten dollars a piece, so that's fifty dollars. I forget what he was asking for the Nova; it wasn't too much. So he just took a couple of books. I think two, three books from me. And um, those two, three books he got from me were pretty much stealth buys anyway so kind of got this for almost nothing but yeah super stoked to have this and um yeah and again it goes right up my alley as far as like what i'm trying to collect this year so yeah awesome all right so that's my haul sorry it's a long one but um i guess would you expect anything less if i sound tired it's actually like 1 30 in the morning here in hawaii <laughs> and um yeah that's about it all right everybody thanks for watching shoots and mahalos